creatures in Norse mythology. The Elves The Elves were originally thought of as a race of divine, or semi-divine beings. Endowed with magical powers, which they use both for the benefit and the injury of mankind. They are said to inhabit the realm of Alfheim under the rule of the god Freyr. The Elves were tall, slim demigods with pale skin and hair, who were more beautiful than the sun. They kept themselves away from the affairs of humans, appearing only occasionally to either cause or cure illnesses based on their whims. They were a very fluid race, and did not subscribe to the normal gender roles of humans. Elves were often portrayed as morally ambivalent. Some sources distinguish elves into two different groups, dark elves that are blacker than pitch, and light elves that are lighter than the sun. Dwarfs Svartalfheim is literally the home of the Black Elves where the Dwarfs are. Unlike our modern depictions, there is no evidence that Dwarfs were short stout beings. Instead, they are considered lesser beings and so some may have warped this into short. Dwarfs dwell in the Earth, and Svartalfheim is often thought of as a labyrinth and underground complex of mines and forges. Smithing is what we think of best when it comes to Dwarfs. Amongst the incredible artifacts forged by the dwarfs are Mjolnir, Thor's hammer, Skeetbladner, a ship belonging to Freyr that always has a favorable wind, and Draupnir and Gungnir, Odin's ring and spear. Dwarfs are highly knowledgeable, very wise, extremely skilled and magically powerful. The four dwarfs Sostri, Vestri, Nordri and Sudri the east, west, north and south hold the sky aloft by its four corners a testament to their incredible strength. They are tasked with holding up the celestial dome crafted from the skull of Immer. They also represent the four cardinal points. Northry is positioned in the north and is associated with the element of earth. Suthry stands in the south and is connected to the element of fire. Austria is positioned in the east and is linked to the element of air. And Vestri resides in the west and is associated with the element of water. Jotnar generally being translated as giants, often said to be at war with the gods of the Iser and Vanir. They live outside of human communities in woods and mountains. They commonly show an aversion to Christianity, and are key players in bringing about Ragnarok the end of the world. Valkyries. They're Odin's female helping spirits who are depicted as elegant maidens ferrying the slain to Valhalla. It's certainly true that the Valkyries carried the slain to battle but their name, choosers of the slain, hints at their more sinister side. They don't simply choose who gets into Valhalla. They also choose who lives and dies in battle, is one of a host of female figures who guide souls of the dead to the god Odin's Hall Valhalla. There, the deceased warriors become Einherjar. When the Einherjar are not preparing for the events of Ragnarok, the Valkyries bear them meat. Valkyries also appear as lovers of heroes and other mortals, where they are sometimes described as the daughters of royalty sometimes accompanied by ravens and sometimes connected to swans or horses. Draugr are undead beings with superhuman strength and the stench of decay. They can also increase their size at will and shapeshift into other creatures. They can swim through solid rock which perhaps explains how they exit their tombs. They spend their days protecting the treasures in their graves and crushing people who attempt to rob them or who wrong them in their lives. Jormungandr, also known as the Midgard Serpent. He encircles the earth keeping everything in place. Jormungandr is the child of Loki and the Jotunagar Boda, along with Fenrir and Helen was tossed into the ocean by Odin. The serpent grew so large that he was able to surround Midgard and grasped his own tail. Jormungandr's arch enemy is Thor the God of Thunder. Ragnarok the end of days begins when Jormungandr releases his tail and comes out of the ocean to poison the sky. He will be slain by Thor who then drops down dead from being poisoned by his venom. Sleipnir Odin's mighty eight-legged horse Sleipnir is yet another one of Loki's children. The best of all horses. Sleipnir is the offspring of the stallions Vadilfari and Loki who in the guise of a mare, was attempting to distract the stallion's owner. Hermother, the messenger of the gods rode Sleipnir to hell, to bargain for the release of Baldr after he had been killed by the mistletoe launched by his blind brother Hoth. Hugin and Munin. Hugin from the Old Norse for thought. And Munin from the Old Norse for mine. 
are a pair of ravens that fly around Midgard and bring news of the affairs of men to Odin. Fosagrim. The Fosagrim is a water spirit who plays enchanting music on the violin. Usually depicted as a beautiful, semi-clad or naked male, the Fosagrim is tale of both good and bad. On the one hand, the Fosagrim is sometimes known to teach humans how to play the violin as beautifully as he. But only if they sacrifice a goat. If the good is too lean, the Fosagrim will only teach how to tune the fiddle. But a sufficiently primed goat will make for a lesson until the player's fingers bleed. At which point they will be able to play so well as to make the trees in the forest dance. On the other hand, he lures women and children to lakes and streams where they drown. Which is rather harsh. But as with all parts of mythology, where good things happen, death is usually close by. Raidados Quadril Tooth or Bortooth is a squirrel who runs up and down Yggdrasil, the world tree, ferrying messages between the eagle Vithrifinur who perches atop Yggdrasil, and the serpent Nithagra, living beneath one of the three roots of the tree. Most theories believe that this is to stir up hostilities between the two, spreading slander and gossip. In turn the two attack the tree, leading to a cycle of decay and rebirth that refresh the tree. Kraken. Generally depicted as a giant squid or octopus. Though sometimes as more of a crab, the Kraken is folklore's big beast of the sea. It is said to measure more than a mile. Its body is so huge that when on the surface it can be mistaken for an island. Lying in wait in the deep waters. The Kraken rises up when disturbed by boats above. When sailors see its huge size they make for it. Believing it to be the shore, only to be pulled downwards to their doom. Said to appear in the sea between Norway and Iceland. Fenrir. Is a monstrous wolf in Norse mythology, the fiercest and most vicious of all the creatures. He is another of Loki's delightful children, fearing Fenrir's strength and knowing that only evil could be expected of him. The gods bound him with a magical chain made of the sound of a cat's footsteps, the beard of a woman, the breath of fish, and other occult elements. When the chain was placed upon him Fenrir bit off the hand of the god Tyre. He was gagged with a sword and was destined to lie bound to a rock until the Ragnarok, when he will break his bonds and fall upon the gods. Fenrir will kill Odin and then in turn, be killed by Odin's son Bithar. Thank you.